Hello everybody, and welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes. 105 Thunder Chief. Woodcut in action. Look at this everybody. I have got two sets of everything cut out. With the exception of my vertical and horizontal steps. And they're going to be easy. I'm fixing to do my, do my rudder over there. But uh, that's basically all my bulkheads with my new rudder when I made. And I also made one. Let me zoom you all in. I made another one to go right here. Uh, on the front side of that wing. I don't want that wing buffeting around any. I want this piece lost solid right here. So I made another one to go right here. Goes just on the front side of the duct. And man, I had to cut that one totally by scratch. <laughs> Did that this morning though. Looks pretty good. And I'll tell you what. There's something to be said for them CNC machines, but I'm just doing this because I don't have one. <laughs> and proven to you guys it can be done without it. But mirror all that wood I had, it is all gone. I don't I had to glue this one together. I don't even have enough wood to make two of these. So Paul, yours is gonna have to be on a piece of paper. <laughs> Once I get that glued in the piece lot, that'll be fine because you know, I really just want this for the collapsible strength right there. You know, sturdy up that piece logs in the center. And uh, we got a bunch of bulkheads in it now. I got. I'll show you where they're going. All right. I got one half one right here and a full one right here. Okay, all the way up to there. Kids. Think that's enough? <laughs> I sure hope so, because I ain't got no more. That ought to do it. I believe. And there's almost for my new wing and one to set the pole. Now what we gotta do is uh cut this rope, cut some for this rope. A vertical staff, people. I just I get in the habit of calling it a rudder, <laughs> and we're just going to have to live with that. Keep the drama down. To a war. <laughs> you get offended. That's why I don't call it by the right name sometimes. All right, let me get some wood here. Got my rudder mold all out, so I can cut these and kind of place them in there. And uh, this one, it's going to be pretty easy. All we've got to do is uh, cut these to fit to this size and then sand just to frickle off of them. Then we're going to take off of them. This one right here. Okay. Kind of the tricky part is holding these things sometimes. Time I, this is when I did this when I was working too. Anytime I mark something, okay, when I when I'm cutting that, I want to keep my blade out here, and I just 
barely want to cut into that line. Actually, I want to uh, sand that most of that line off. Then I know what's sticking up and what ain't. You know what I mean? But I was a tall man for many years. And when you cut my part, if this is the one I needed, you kept that blade out here. And I just barely leave that line on there. Just barely. And then when I sand it, I'll take the line off. And you know that that glass is so thin, man. I mean, all we got to do is just sand just a frickle past that line and we're good to go so I'm just putting a layer of tin and a layer of uh, four and that's about like the thickness of monocoat maybe two layers of monocoat you know when it's all flattened out and vacuum bagged it's that thin okay so this is that one now This one. Bam, there's that one. See, what I want to do is I just want to kind of build a little frame around this and we uh, piece of cake with two of them. Done deal. Now we need to get this one down here. But we actually want it to come out a little longer. You see, what I'm going to do with these here is I'm going to come straight down, bam, then I can go straight into that and then just put a wedge or something in there. It'll be easier to get straight, you know. So for that one, we're going to have to cut both of them short. If you want to do that, it's easier to cut them on cord board. If I'm going to cut it short, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it like this. By cutting it short, I mean that piece needs to go farther in. I need to come that actually about an inch past that. Cut this out, then let's put that on there, and we need to actually be leave a little bit for right there and come to right there. So we'll put the tip of this right there. 